we're going to be looking at multiplication and division. Okay, so we're going to be looking at these two operations, and more specifically, we're going to be looking at the terms that we can uh, use to describe multiplication and division situations. Okay, so what I mean is for multiplication, we know it's a time sign. Okay, now I can use the term to find the product. So if I want to say, find the product between two numbers, I'm going to multiply those two numbers together. Okay, or times them together. Now division, which we know is that divide sign. Now division, we can use the term quotient. Okay, so finding the quotient is when we find the division of two numbers together. Okay, so these are the two terms that we need to know. So multiplication is to product and division is the quotient. Okay, so I'll just familiarize yourselves with these terms. Now we take a look at question one. So it asks us to find the product between, oh sorry, the product of five and seven. Okay, so what do we just say? Product is multiplication. Okay, so the product between five and seven, or the product of five and seven is just five multiplied by seven which we know is going to be 35. Now in question two, find the quotient of 35 and five. Okay, so again, quotient is what? Quotient is relating to division. Okay, so finding the quotient of 35 and five, okay, we'll do 35 divided by five. Okay, which will give me a value of seven. Okay, so not too difficult. Now, if we take a look at question three, we've got some sort of a more of a realistic question. So how many laps of a 400 meter track does an athlete need to complete in a 6,000 meter race? Okay, so we have a track that's 400 meters, okay, but the race is 6,000 meters. Okay, so how many laps are going to do around the track? So we're gonna be considering uh, some sort of division, okay, or some sort of quotient. So I'm gonna do 6,000 meters divided by the 400 meters. Okay, so if I, if I uh, calculate this, it will be 15. Okay, so it will be 15 laps for me to complete this track. 